everyone and welcome back to your favorite RV shopping show, Mount Comfort RV Online. I'm your host, Kurt Hunt, coming to you from the Newmar Studios here in sunny Greenfield, Indiana. Today, we're deep diving into three new fifth wheels that have just arrived on our lot, fresh from the factories in northern Indiana. The stars of our show today are a 2021 Coachman Brookstone 398 MBL, a 21 Cedar Creek 345 IK, and a torque toy hauler from our friends at Heartland RV. But before we hear from our star reporter, Susan, I've got some great news to share. We've added a really handy feature to our website, mountcomfortrv.com. It's called Shop by Payment. It helps you find the right RV at the right payment. You get personalized pre-qualified payments on all of our available inventory and it does not impact your credit. There is no obligation to buy and it's private and secure. Head over to mountcomfortrv.com to shop by payment. Okay, Susan's standing by in our lot to introduce us to a Coachman Brookstone 398 MBL. It's user-friendly, luxurious, and great for short bed trucks. Then she'll take us around a brand new Cedar Creek 345 IK featuring tons of storage, three slides, and an ultra-modern bathroom. Hello, Susan! Hey, thanks, Kurt. Appreciate it. You know, a lot of people think there's nothing left on RV dealerships lots. Nothing could be further from the truth here at Mount Comfort RV. We've worked really hard to make sure that we've got inventory for you, both new and used. Look at all of these amazing fifth wheels, and there's a little something here for everyone. We're going to take a closer look today at three units. This is the first one. This is our 2021 Brookstone 398 MBL. It's going to be the lightest of the three, I believe, or the middle stone. We have the middle of the three that we're going to look at in terms of weight. 13,155 pounds as she sits empty and 41 feet long. It's a good length and a good, uh, a good weight for especially a full-timers unit. This is something that you can spend a long time in. Now it's a great camper, but you can also spend some, a, a long period of time in it. First thing I'm going to show you is the TurnTech Engineering hitch here. This, is a, this basically allows you to use a shorter bed truck for something as long as this Brookstone. It's nice to have. Of course, you're going to have gel coat, um, gel coat fiberglass exterior. And one of the things that Brookstone has done is they've worked to UV treat and protect these decals so you don't get the fading that you do in some fifth wheels and travel trailers. I think you'll be pleased with how well this thing lasts. Looking at a nice, big, long awning. Um, we're looking at vacuum bonded aluminum framed walls. So while it's going to be a little bit lighter, it's also going to be super strong. One of the things that we've done with this Brookstone, we've, we've brought it in with a six point auto level system. I know everyone appreciates being able to just press that button, have their camper level itself out, be ready to sleep. Way, way up above, we're going to have a double insulated um, residential truss systems about 16 inch on center and a lot of a uh, lot of insulation inside same thing with the walls same thing with your um, same thing with your your floor and your um, underneath you're going to have heated holding tank pads on all of your tanks so basically this is a camper that's going to extend your season now let's take a quick look inside of the brookstone 398 mbl so now we're inside the 2021 Brookstone 398 MBL. That's a mouthful, but it's a lot to tell you about a great unit that you would expect to be priced um, in the luxury range. Not so. For under $65,000, we're talking about solid surface countertops, a cooktop oven that's almost apartment size, Certainly residential size microwave, certainly residential size refrigerator, and look at all of these cabinets. There is a ton of storage in this Brookstone. And not only is there a ton of storage, but they've put quality into this. So we're looking at hardwood here, a hardwood core here, um, glass inserts that shine just has a better job of sort of opening everything up in here. I like to draw attention too to the fireplace. That's a 5,200 watt, excuse me, 5,200 BTU fireplace. It can be just pretty, or it can be pretty and warm. It acts as a space heater. So on days like today, where it's just kind of a little chilly, maybe you don't want to pump up your LP. It's a great way to warm up your living space. 
We're on Thomas Paine Furniture. And these theater seats, heated, lighted, and massage. Why should you give up comfort if you're going camping? <laughs> Certainly if you're planning on using your unit to use full-time or you're going to be snowboarding full-time, uh, living in it full-time, um, it's going to give you extended season protection as well as a lot of comfort. One of the cool things about this though is its floor plan and that's this little den slash bunk room. I love this. For those of you who are working on the road, we've got a great desk here. It's actually set up for a television as well with coaxial and satellite input. You've got a bunk here that actually can pop up. It's a Murphy bed. Get that up and out of your way. And then the sofa makes out to a little bed as well. Um, the holes on the floor are where those uh, table legs go. Here's your table top. So you could actually turn this into a craft or workspace as well if you needed something a little deeper than just that desk space. Quick tour to the back, I'm going to show you a monster-sized bathroom and a human-sized shower. On the way, we'll talk a little bit about this loft here. Great place for grandkids, kids, nieces and nephews, or lots of totes storage. I'm going to step out of the way here so Tony can get a shot of that shower. That is actually a shower that an adult can, can shower in. I've seen a lot of showers in travel trailers and fifth wheels that are a little bit of an afterthought, but this is something you can actually use. Now let's step into the bedroom. Lots and lots of storage space. Great big monster size closet here and closet here, or this is roughed in for a washer dryer. And one last thing. We're on one, not, not one, but two air conditioners. Here's the air conditioner right here. And we do have dual control on the thermostat. So we can set the living area at one temperature and the bedroom at another. Well, that's a quick look at our 2021 Brookstone. Now let's venture into the Cedar Creek 345 by K. Well, now we're gonna take a look at the 2021 Cedar Creek 345 by K. This year, Cedar Creek made some major changes to both the inside and the outside of their fifth wheels. I think you're going to like what you see. Of course, now they kept some good things like the air ride hookup here. Folks like that, that's a nice to have. Those who've had it have said, I'll never go back to anything else. But you get a look too at some of the graphics on the outside. A little bit cleaner, a little bit neater. And that white exterior, they're hoping will keep the unit a bit cooler in some of the warmer areas. Of course, you're going to get your beautiful outside speakers and this little Forest River Hallmark. This is the Puppy Latch. Um, it's actually a very strong screwed in spot where you can put a pet tether. A um, couple of other things to talk about. Of course, slide slam, a slide slam and up and down on your cargo bay. Really big area, of course, to store stuff. Um, stain resistant flooring here and then they also give you the reel for your power cord which you know let's face it folks 25 25 feet of power cord could get pretty heavy after a while it also gets kind of messy so walking around this way so we're going to have insulation on all five sides of our slides that's something that makes the cedar creek another full timers unit it's going to be aluminum frame construction 16 inch on center a lot like how we build houses and it's going to have gla glass wool insulation inside in fact on the roof we're going to have double glass wool insulation it's a great unit it's an enclosed and heated underbelly so this is definitely a season extending camper if not one that you can do all four seasons in of course we brought her in with 12 excuse me six point auto level and your water heater is a 12 gallon quick recovery water heater now you can do the truma endless hot water if you want that is listed as an option on this camper but a lot of folks find that the 12 gallon is plenty unless you're going to do the optional dishwasher one side let's look at some other things in the cedar creek now we're inside the 2021 Cedar Creek 345 IK. And I think you'll agree with me if you've seen some of the previous interiors, they've really done a great job of brightening it up and making it look a little bit more modern. Of course, we're still on that sort of dove gray with a little bit of gold mixed into the flooring, kind of a dove gray on the cabinets. And one of the things that they've done too is they've taken all the hardware to sort of a, I believe they're calling it bronze, but it's essentially a black finish, almost a, a matte black finish which is great for not showing uh, spots, not showing dirt. Uh, let's face it, you're in your camper. You don't want to spend all your day uh, and night cleaning. Got a great big pantry here on the end. This is worth seeing right here. And it's all the way through. You don't lose space here. And I think that's pretty significant. That'd be a lot of, a lot of space if it came all the way to the end. I, I, it really doubles your area. Now, 
with the Cedar Creek 345 AK with, along with the rest of our Cedar Creeks. They're going to give you an echo dot and they're going to give you a tire pressure monitor. Thank you, Cedar Creek. Lots and lots of counter space. One of the things though, that you're going to see in the Cedar Creek is because they use that residential framing system, you're going to see outlets where they belong on the walls, places that you can find them, and not necessarily stuck in the sides of things or up under cabinets. It's kind of a cheat, um, a necessary one in the RV industry, but because of the way they construct it, you get a little bit more easy, easier to find outlets. Now we're on an apartment size range and oven, folks. Four burners a nice big oven that you could actually cook a turkey in. So again, more of a full timer's unit. Here's our convection microwave, residential size, residential size refrigerator, big double barrel sink, and they're giving us a ceiling fan here in the living room, which as you know, makes a big difference. That moving air is gonna help it feel much cooler. Of course, we're gonna get theater seats, and these are power theater seats, folks. So it's one of those things where if you have a difficult time getting out of a recliner, difficult time kicking that, that um, the footrest back in, this is really gonna help you out. A couple of other things to note in the Cedar Creek as we walk back this way. This is their intervac system. We sweep all the debris over here and it sucks it nicely up to an outside area in the baggage compartment where we empty everything instead of dragging it all the way through your entire unit. Now this, I think, is something to really take note of and that is the one-piece shower system. First of all, it is large enough to accommodate an adult. I love the seat, but I really love the fact that it's a one-piece shower insert. Nice bright bathroom with the white cabinets. I thought this was a clever addition as well. The dual uh, faucets with just one sink drain. Still leaves you plenty of counter space here and a cabinet and drawers for both of you. Nobody needs to fight. We still have a little linen closet too. Um, they did a nice job of not wasting that extra space. Now let's hop into the bedroom really quickly. We'll show you a couple of cool things in here. Now Cedar Creek has gone ahead and given you um, the little vanity. They've gone ahead and put the television in for you. But one of the things I want to draw your attention to is the ceiling. Don't see an air conditioner here, do you? didn't see an air conditioner in the ceiling of the other one. That's because Cedar Creek uses something they call their Whisper Quiet Air Conditioning System. It's going to be a little bit more like a residential air conditioning system. The units are on the top, but everything is ducted, so it's much quieter. You don't have to hear that roar and turn the television set up to, to compensate. We've got a monster big closet, folks. Let me step in here just to kind of give you an idea of how large it is. If you just see it in two dimensions, you can't really tell. But I'm standing straight on in this closet. I still have shelf space here. Of course, we could put in a washer dryer unit right here. 110 outlets here. Lots of hanging space up here. It's lighted inside. And this funky little thing is a space heater for the bedroom. So in combination with a fireplace, space heater in the bedroom, depending on how cold it is outside, you may not even need to fire your LP tanks until it really gets down there. Well, folks, this was a very quick look at the Cedar Creek 345IK. I really could spend about 20 to 30 minutes just on this unit and the Brookstone as well, but it's time to move on. Now we're going to take a look at the 2021 Torque 371. Thank you, Susan. Our third fifth wheel all-star is a Torque 371 toy hauler from Heartland. Dual slides, a bath and a half, and it sleeps 10. Bring your kids, my kids, maybe even the whole softball team. Here's Susan with more. So here we are at our last of the three fifth wheels that I'm featuring. These are all 2021 models. Right here, we've got a Torque. This is the Torque 371. It is a toy hauler. Now, before you click off and say, well, I'm not looking for that, remember, too, that you're going to get two queen beds in addition to the king bed inside. So this is a great way to accommodate extra folks without having to go to a traditional bunk model. And it'll carry all your toys, too. First thing I want to point out is, of course, we brought it in on a, on a generator. This is a 5,500 watt Cummins Onan generator, which will run the whole unit. And then over here, I just wanted to draw your attention to the way they've done their docking station. I thought this was really nice uh, and concise and clever. Everything is all in one spot. There's your cable satellite coaxial input. Same thing here, 110 outlet, water, black tank flush, outside shower. 
Little bit of pass-through storage. Here's where you'll deploy the um, six-point leveling system. Your generator's exhausted out this side, not the patio side. That pipe will still be hot, folks, so if you are camping with children, always warn them never to touch those silver pipes. Now we're gonna kind of walk around a little bit. Of course, automotive paint on the front, resistant to fading. Other side of your pass-through storage right here. Of course, your propane tank. And then here is your water, your water heater. And I'm looking here because I'm gonna cheat. I can't remember, oh, 10 gallons on your water heater. Awesome, just enough. Outside speakers. Nice little storage spot right there. And then this, haha, is your party kitchen. Check this out. So you've got a little bit of a sink here. You are plumbed for water to come in. You're not plumbed for the water to go into your gray tank. So just remember, you'll be lifting and emptying that basin. But you do have a two burner cooktop, television already here to go, nice party size refrigerator. Nobody has to miss any of the game. Great way to watch the race. Love those slam latches. Now we're gonna step inside and take a look at some of the changes in the Torque 371. Now we're inside the 2021 Torque 371. You'll take a look around. Things are just a little bit cleaner, a little bit brighter. And those are the changes that uh, Torque Heartland has made to the inside of this unit. A lot of great amenities, a lot of great things that you're going to find in the Torque. Um, not that dissimilar to the Cyclone. Really, the big difference between the Torque and the Cyclone are going to be the, the, the bells and whistles, the things that you can add, things that are standard in the Cyclone. So for another great price, really just about 72000 you can have a fabulous toy hauler. Of course, we're looking at this great big long sofa here. You could certainly sleep someone here, but each one of these stations does recline. It's very comfortable, and it's all directly across from your Ultra 4K television. So now... That's a great way to see the game or the race, if I have to agree. So, got a nice dinette system here. We could do bar stools on the other side. Fabulous place for people to eat, play games. We're on solid surface countertops. Big residential convection microwave. Great cooktop for warming things up. We've got a decent sized sink here, but plenty of storage space. Cabinets and drawers everywhere. Good size refrigerator. It's not one of those little apartment size or bar size refrigerators. Plenty of room for drinks, if you know what I mean, and some good snacks. Now we're going to step into the garage, which is, of course, is sort of the point of the toy hauler. We're on an oil and gasoline stain resistant TPO floor with D rings that are going to be bolted into the frame. You're seeing part of the bed sofa system. Uh, these are two sofas that have been folded flat, which make a queen size bed. And then up above here, that's another queen size bed. So we could sleep two couples or a whole lot of kids in here. In addition to this loft, and this is a favorite with the kids, there actually is a ladder system right here. They can crawl up when nobody's using it. Of course, it does just slide in to store away. It's also a fabulous place to store your leathers, helmets, extra tools, you name it. Got a place for another television, and you could do a side-by-side -side washer dryer here. One of the things I like best about Torque's garage, though, are all of the lights. That you, all of the light that you get in here. A lot of light. Of, excuse me. A lot of windows. I can't talk. A lot of windows let in a lot of la natural light and you're gonna get plenty of cross breeze in here. Plus, in the Torque, you're going to have an electric wall that comes down, electric screen wall that comes down that will turn this into kind of a three-season room. Now, we brought this Torque in with a ramp patio system. That's a 3,000-pound tolerant ramp patio system. Those, what you're seeing right there are the railings that will deploy once this is straight out. Gives you a nice deck. So this is a party-rific unit, folks. Um, so if not, again, even if you're not hauling toys, it's still a great way to come up with extra ways to use your fifth wheel. Well, that's a very quick look at our new Torque 371. If you have any questions, please do call me here at Mount Comfort RV. I'm Susan Dillman Stills. Back to you, Kurt. Thank you, Susan. Remember, you can learn more about these new fifth wheels and many more by visiting MountComfortRV.com or call us anytime at 800-899-6676. There are new and pre-owned RVs hitting our lot daily. 
So refer to our website often so you can stay in touch with what's coming and going here at Mount Comfort RV. That's it for today. Remember, please be kind to one another, call your mother, and use your turn signals. See you next time here on America's award-winning RV shopping show, Mount Comfort RV Online.